Hey house guests, welcome to today's Big Brother 18 updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is John Schwan? Sean? Squan? I'm sorry! Oh my god, I've been so bad with names lately, but I hope one of those was right. And thank you so much for your support. And if you guys want to be house guest of the day like John, I'll butcher your name too. Just check out our Patreon link in the info box below. I'm just gonna warn you guys right now. <laughs> this spoiler is ratchet! Oh my god, it's it's something else, so be ready. But anyway, before we get to the crazy stuff, yesterday, Nicole was complaining to Corey about the other girls, and she's just like, Michelle's been acting really weird this week. So she's complaining that Michelle is all upset because Day is up on the block and she feels like they're not including her in things and Nicole's like we just talked to her for like five hours the other day isn't that enough and also Michelle sleeps all day so how are they supposed to include her so then Nicole's saying like she was trying to explain to Michelle that she just has this gut feeling aka somebody told her that Nicole or sorry that Day is coming after her and Corey, uh, so that's why she wants her out of the house, but Nicole is also worried that she's losing jury votes, Michelle, Zakia, Devon, they're not happy with her right now, and she feels that, so enough of that. Michelle was having a bit of a breakdown yesterday, this game is really getting to her, she was crying in the have not room, and Polly, of all people, was comforting her, I guess he does have feelings, <laughs> also I'm surprised that Polly did not accuse Michelle of trying to play Vanessa's game because she was crying. Seriously, though. So, anyway, <clears throat> Michelle feels like her words are getting twisted around. Um, this whole whisper gate thing is really messing her up. So we talked about this yesterday, but I made a mistake. I want to clarify. It was not Day who was saying that she saw Nicole, Corey, and Polly whispering. It was Michelle. And that is kind of what... Um, one of the things that set off that whole Polly and Zakia fight. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going to talk about Whispergate more in a minute. But Michelle is also really tired of Paul and James. And Polly's just like, well, why don't you just go talk to them? She's like, no, like everything about them is annoying me. I don't want to talk to them. And then <laughs> she's also worried that she's going to look like a bully on TV. And uh, she's not going to be able to get a job after this. So Polly's like, Michelle, if you can't find a job after this, I will fly you out to my gym in New Jersey and you can be the dietitian there. <laughs> Alright, so I mean that's nice, but sure. So then Polly's telling her this game is not real life, it's just a game, don't forget that, and don't worry about what other people think about you, I don't give an F what everybody thinks out there. So he says, the people who know you for real really know who you are. <laughs> I mean, I, I get what he's trying to say, but I think what Michelle is trying to say is that she wants people that she doesn't know to like her too, because she's, you know, she's trying to make her way in the world today, and it takes everything you got. Alright, so the feeds went down yesterday for about two and a half hours for the halfway party. Oh my god, it's always, it's always a good time, or at least that's what it sounds like. We never see it. So, the house guests got food booze and music some drink more than others some did not drink at all natalie and michelle were like uh no not drinking probably a smart move um we're gonna get to the shenanigans following the halfway party in just a minute but first james and natalie were discussing whispergate so here's what happened james michelle and zakia were all in the have not room the other day Michelle's just like, oh yeah, I was outside before, and I saw Polly, Nicole, and Corey whispering, like, what's that all about? It's kind of sketchy. So James went to Polly with this information, and that was what Polly confronted Zakia about. And he was just like, who was in the room? Who was in the room? So it was James, and James was the one that ratted them out. So Michelle was upset that James didn't keep it to himself, but James is saying, like, no, it's okay, I talked to Michelle. I owned up to it. I told her that I told Polly, and she appreciated my honesty. So we made up. We're all cool now. But James is not thrilled that Polly sold him out to Michelle and Zakia like that. He's just like, why would he do that? Like, what's what's up with that, bruh? All right. So then it was uh, girl time up in the HOH room. Natalie, Zakia, and Michelle were up there. They locked the door. 
and Natalie's all, GT, GT. So <laughs> they're saying that they're ready for a girl to win the HOH. Uh, we're all waiting for it. Like, we're, we're waiting. Let's make it happen. Freaking do it. So Natalie is wondering, like, if the guys keep winning HOH, are they going to keep putting girls up on the block? Because that's what it's looking like right now. And they're all just like, I don't know. But Michelle's like, well, if I win HOH, I'm putting up two guys. I give zero Fs. So Michelle is like locked and loaded. She's ready to go. She could win a competition. She won freaking OTEV. Let's see it. So then Zakia starts saying, women are strong. We need to be strong. Okay. So then <laughs> Day joins them. There's lots of girl chat. They're talking about all the showmances in the house. They're talking about ex-boyfriends outside of the house. And then Natalie brings us back to the game. And she's like, do you think there's a guy's alliance. She keeps bringing it up and it seems like they keep shooting her down. Why are you doing this? So then Zakia's is like, I don't give an F or I don't give a shit if there's a guy's alliance. So then she starts talking again about women being strong and she's a strong ass woman. And all I can think of when I hear this is the beginning of Kimmy Schmidt. <laughs> Females are strong as hell. That would be nice, though, if they could win a competition and, like, make something happen. I mean, yeah. So then, downstairs, during girl time, downstairs, we've got Nicole, Corey, Polly, James, and Victor in the Tokyo room. So everyone else except for Bridget and Paul. I think Bridget was, like, pin uh, popping pimples on Paul's back or something. I don't know. Okay. So, the Tokyo Room discussion was about, like, strippers and porn stars and how much money it would take for the guys to do gay porn. Sure. Okay, so then at one point, Corey gets up. He was cuddling with Nicole in their bed. So he gets up. Victor gets in bed with her. And Nicole's all like, no, Victor, it's not funny. Ugh. So she's telling Victor, like, you're going to get your butt beat. They're all joking around. Um, so then Corey comes back and he's just like, oh my god. <laughs> so then he goes and jumps on Polly and James. I don't know. He seems pretty happy about it. But anyway, this whole thing of like Victor weaseling his way in when Corey leaves the room happened a few times last night. And it's like all fun and games, but at the same time, it does cause some tension between Nicole and Corey. Um, kind of funny but <laughs> they don't like it so a little while later okay this is where things just start like going to shit so Zakia joins them in the Tokyo room she just like climbs on top of Polly and she doesn't even say anything which makes it really weird she's just like she just she just does that and Polly's just like you little tips meaning like tipsy and she's like Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like all we hear from her uh also she was wearing like this crocheted i guess it was like a bathing suit cover-up um with like undies but they weren't covering her butt and like her butt was up and like out <laughs> her ass was hanging out okay it was bad so later Zakia is straight up straddling Polly and like grinding on him but like other people are in the room and other people are in that bed <laughs> it was sick <laughs> I can't I can't it was just messed up <clears throat> I'm losing my voice now so then we're gonna come back to that but I need to like I need to cleanse my palate. So then Natalie, James, and Michelle were in the London bedroom and a little bit of game chat here. Thank you. Natalie is telling James, if we get in a, a situation where you can throw it to one of us, throw it to one of us. And James is just like, yeah, I'm all for it. Girl power, let's do it. James doesn't want to win HOH. If he can trust whoever wins, like, he's going to throw it to them. He doesn't want this HOH. So... Then she's telling him, like, if one of us can't win, you need to win it, though. And he's just like, oh, I'm going to throw it to you. That would be interesting. We'll see. But back in the Tokyo room, it's lights out. And it's WTF time. <laughs> We've got freaking <clears throat> Nicole and Corey, like, making out in their bed. For a while, Victor was in that bed, like, asleep, maybe. And there was, like, some undercover activity. In the other bed... <laughs> We've got Zakia freaking dry humping Polly 
I'm not kidding, kissing his neck, and Polly is just lying there. He's just like, I'm not kidding. Oh my god, it was just like, oh my god. All right, so <laughs> it, it was just wrong. So Zakia uh, eventually goes to the bathroom. She's like fixing her makeup, and Davon is there. She's just she's packing up her stuff so that she wouldn't have to do it today. So Day is like, can I talk to you about something? I don't want to get you, I don't want you to get offended, so I've been trying to think of a way to word it, and Zakia is just like, just say it, just say it. So then Day is like, I look at you like a little sister, and I don't want you to be viewed a certain kind of way. She's pointing at the cameras with her hair dryer. She said, put some shorts on or something. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking cover up your ass, for real. <clears throat> so Zakia's laughing. She seemed really relieved because I think she thought that Day was going to tell her, like, um, what the F are you doing with Polly right now? He treats you like shit. But she was relieved. She was like, oh, yeah, you're right. She changes her outfit, puts some damn clothing on. So then Natalie and Michelle are chatting about the eviction. And honestly, like, Michelle has been given so much information this week but she's in denial about Day going home. She's asking Natalie, like, are you sad that Bridget's going home this week? I know you guys were close. What? <laughs> so Natalie's just like, oh, I'm sad whenever anyone leaves. Like, my one true girlfriend in this house was Bronte, but I'm sad when anyone leaves. Natalie knows that Day is going too, and she's not telling Michelle, like, what are you talking about? Um, yeah. All right, it's PP time in the HOH room. So, Polly is pissed because Zakia gave him a freaking hickey. He's like, Mom and Dad, I'm sorry. What is this, middle school? A hickey? What? All right. So then, Polly brings up a little bit of game. Polly brings up that James told Corey that he's not going to try to win this HOH because he doesn't have any clear targets right now. So, PP is PP pissed because they're like, the group has targets. Um,. You should want to win for the group to keep everybody safe. You need to get blood on your hands, too. Oh, James just took out Frank. Let's not forget about that. But anyway, they think that he should be out there fighting for that HOH. And then they're talking about targets for next week. And they're like, Nicole? Maybe. But then a new name pops up. James. Paul says James is not going to be as easy to mold as Nicole is. So maybe we should think about getting rid of him. Oh, snap. But they agree that it would be perfect for them if Bridget won the HOH, does their dirty work, maybe like take out one of the girls or something, and then they clip her the following week. Uh, all right, so then Zakia goes up to the HOH room. She joins the boys. So it's like Polly, Paul, James, and Corey. Polly is lying on the HOH couch. Zakia lies down on top of him, like between his legs. She's kissing his stomach. She's like licking him. There's this other conversation going on with everyone else in the room that she's not participating in. She's in her own little drunken world. She's sucking on Polly's finger. She's touching his pee pee. <laughs> and I don't mean his Paul. I mean his little Polly. What the frig? Okay, and I'm not trying to slut shame Zakia because like, I don't care, whatever. But it makes me really sad because Polly treats her like shit. We've seen what Polly says about her behind her back, and it's just like, <sighs> have some self-respect. It's just, it's hard to watch. But um, anyway, today is an eviction day. So Day, um, she's been pretty chill on the campaigning this week, I have to say. Uh, she's just been checking in with people every once in a while, and they're all telling her that she's fine. So... She does her last vote check today. She's talking to James, and she's like, all right, I talked to Paul, and he told me that it doesn't seem like anyone's going to flip on me this week, but if they do, he's going to be super pissed, and in the case of a tie, he's going to break it in my favor. We know that's not true, and James is still going along with it. Ah! So, yeah. Um, because it's an eviction day today, they're also, like, you know, cleaning themselves up, whatever. Barbie hair salon. Remember a couple weeks ago we got to see um, Paul massacre Polly's hair? Well, today we got to see Victor cutting Corey's hair. And <clears throat> I think he actually did like a decent-ish job, but for a while it was looking a little, little sketch. And we know that <laughs> Victor and Corey, 
there's a little bit of a uh, beef there because of the Nicole thing. But wouldn't it be crazy if Victor was just like, <laughs> I'm going to say Anyway, eviction is tonight. Day is going unless something insane happens or if she has the round trip ticket. Um, but the big question is, will they tell her before? I have a feeling James will tell her maybe like right before that she's going because they are friends. Uh, and he's gonna feel really bad if she's blindsided, but another big question will Michelle and Zakia still vote to keep her? I don't know uh, Yeah, and I want to know from you guys. What are your hopes for the HOH this week? Do you want day to have the round-trip ticket and who do you want to win HOH? I want to see somebody win who's gonna shake this crap up go for the guys I, We need a power shift so that's what I think but let me know what you guys think and until tomorrow much love